Lockett protected himself by putting out that boot so as no one could run through him from the front. Tony Lockett's missed a sitter earlier in the quarter. He's directly in front. He kicks. That's a goal. No doubt about that one. That's true. So Miles has done a very good job so far on Tony Lockett. Considering the amount of time the ball has been down on the St Kilda forward line, but there's an impossible one to stop. Magnificent lead and uh, courageous play there by Michael Brennan trying to cut across Lockett, but the big strong hands of Lockett, the uh, strength of Lockett's amazing. He's just such a good player, and the pass of Brad Gotch was magnificent. Two two, it's a one two, so one goal the difference, and uh, well, Miles running off Lockett will have to get back onto him pretty quick, smart too. That's the problem there. That's Dean Rice. Off the side of the boot deliberately, though, to half forward. Oh, Guy McKenna, beautifully done. Over to John Worsfold. Those two really combine. Well, there's another man with a ton of talent. Chris Lewis, he's playing well. From centre wing, brings it to the pocket. Man wearing over the back appeals for the mark. The umpire thought it was. I don't think Spiro Corkamilis did. Main wearing's on half forward flank. Yes, he goes inboard with the kick, and it's badly directed. It's taken by Paul Harding. Harding down to centre wing. Brennan has it knocked away from him. Grant runs into that same player. A hurried hand pass. Good tackle by Anir on low. Winmar, he's been quiet so far. Onto Pike. From inside the centre square. Up to half forward. Or hits Sumic in the face or the chest. He didn't handle that at all well. Anir a chance with also Russo. And it's going to be a West Coast Eagles uh, free kick to Chris Mainwaring. Short of left half forward flank. Leaders on by Jackson. Russo, grab but not in possession, surely. And Peter Felix Russo takes the free kick. In front, Rice, courageous player. Had a very bad injury last year at Geelong. Came out of it well. Gotch, where's Lockett this time? Off the hands of McKenna. Well, Bowie roams it beautifully on to Nathan Burke. Shoot goal, fumble may be costly, but he gets round, shoots and puts it through. Uh, there's a free oh, kick been played, I think, Peter, before that. Well, he did kick it through for a goal, but it is a free kick, you're right. Well, surely advantage should have been paid in that situation. As he whistled time on. Strange. No, I can't understand it. But, uh, I reckon they ought to get rid of the advantage real full stop. Yeah, I must uh, agree, it is confusing. This is Bowie. We might have missed that. Have to wait on the goal umpire. He did. Well, I, I can understand the crowd booing that because that was a certain bother St Kilda. Well, he did kick it through for a goal, didn't he? The first one was a goal. Yeah. There's no doubt about it. And uh, only penalising the side by bringing it back and making him have that shot. So Miles will do the kicking out. He has the job at the moment, anyway, of minding Tony Lockett. And so far, I think we'd all agree he's done a good job. Hart gives it back to him. Now uh, Winmar is the man closest to the ball. Oh, he fumbles. He doesn't often do that. Leaves it for a near. Not too much support for him, though. Finally, he's got Bremen, who fumbles. Plenty of pressure out there. That's 10 possession for McKenna. That one was smothered, though. Now Lamb, oh, over, runs it. McKenna again. Back to Warsfold. Lobs it high, over the head of Cunningham. So a lob, the operative word. Cunningham started well in the first 10 minutes by running out of defence. And again, long, looping hand pass. Back to the big ruckman, Harding. Takes it back again. Rice runs into Laidley. Just about throws it out, but it could have been a high tackle. And he will take the free kick at midfield. Dean Rice. The short one is on. Stuart Lowe. Oh, too big and strong. Once those big arms go up. Now, Lockett has got two men to beat here. Can he beat them? Oh, he's got the set. Oh, he went too early, Lockett, and gave away a free kick and pushed his opponent in the back. But he did have two to beat. The My... frustration, Peter. Yes. Well, they're playing their tactics well, the West Coast Eagles. O'Connell is getting back down the ground to help Miles. Good pass by O'Connell. He's not normally a great kick. He's found Hutton. Now, Hutton is on half-back flank. Picking up Rod Owen. Playing his 50th game, Rod Owen, today. Oh, this is... Uh, well, Harding ran right underneath it, actually. In the meantime, Lewis had given away a free kick to David Grant. Now, Grant is getting between centre wing towards the half-back line. He brings it to the half-forward line. The flyer was low. Jesus, Grant got a strong pair of hands. And Owen tackled his own man there. <laughs> got him round the waist. <laughs> he brought uh, Bradley Gotts down to the ground. 
<laughs> He's keen right on, there's no doubt about that. <laughs> yeah, but Bradley got you have to say about it. Mind you, I wouldn't argue with Rod Owen. No way. <laughs> Low. Burke. Horse fault. Goes for the boundary line. Will he find it? Yes, only just. So 50 metres out. St Kilda left half forward flank. Boundary throw it. You certainly wouldn't argue with him in the St Kilda Social Club. I wouldn't way. argue with anybody <laughs> in the St Kilda Social Club. <laughs> Bowing, he's been playing well. Good tackle by McKenna. McKenna's had about 10 possessions in the first quarter without even looking at this. That's Warsfold. Up towards centre, uh, centre field it is. Waterman grabbed almost when not in possession. Freeman up the half forward. Frawley, Lockyer in the back against Lockyer. But Danny Frawley, the St Kilda captain, will take the free kick. What a great player he is. Tremendous stopper. Fine talents. Oh, Mark. Dragged in by Rice. He started well. He'll look for Harding. He was named at half forward flank. Not a good hand pass by the ex Hawk. And the Eagles go forward again. It was driven up for them by uh, Rimmon. Cunningham. Lewis. Sumich. Three kicks as the umpire. And those time on. It'll be a St Kilda ball. Left uh, half back flank to Cunningham. Centre wing. The flyer was Hutton. Paul Camillus awaits the crumbs and takes them gleefully. That's a real hospital pass, that one. 50 metres up, 50 down. And up comes Winmar. Laidley does the intercept. Grab, it would appear, we're not in possession. Lockett tries some strong arm tactics, and that should be 50 metres. Yep. In fact, it could almost be a booking. And it could be booked. It could be reversed too if uh, some Eagles players don't mind their temper. Well, that was completely unnecessary by Lockett on McKenna. Well, I didn't see the actual incident, but I was looking oh, at something. Uh, I saw it. Completely unnecessary. The stretcher case it is, actually. Looks like a stretcher case. They're calling for the stretcher. McKenna's been a magnificent player, and it's a pity to see a player have to go off the field in well, under I'd, such circumstances. Well, I'd be amazed if that book doesn't come out. It will come out now. I mean,. Uh, even if the book doesn't come out, the League Commission looks at incidents like that during the week. And we might have the League's full forward, perhaps facing the tribunal. He's writing something down there. Yes, he's gone. Lock it. Yep. Look out. I must agree with you. It, it was unnecessary. Well, let's have a look at that. Well, that, that uh, wasn't the, well, that was the one. Oh, gee, he's really, really caught the worst of that too, Guy McKenna. That's a shame. Guy McKenna was absolutely killing them at halfback. Ten possessions. Five kicks, five handballs, and, and I hate to see that. He's a magnificent ball player too, McKenna. He uh, just has one thought, and that is to go for the ball. Completely fair by her, and it is a pity to see such a promising young player carted off on a stretcher. That's going to make a hole in their defence because McKenna, as uh, Peter McKenna had mentioned, as we watch it again, I don't think it was that one. No, here it is now. Oh. That's uh, an elbow, isn't it? I guess uh, in strict terminology as such. Well, he was out right out to it. He is out to it. That's most unfortunate. Uh, be even more unfortunate for St Kilda if Lockett incurs the wrath of Neil busy at the tribunal because what a great season he's having. Well, that should inspire. If the West Coast Eagles players have got any uh, gumption, that should really inspire them now. Lockett's fired up, isn't he? I don't know why their St Kilda supporters are hooting. Guy McKenna coming off. Now, they don't have to take him off through the interchange gates, as I understand it now, on a stretcher case, but the rooms are that way anyway, so they're going to do that. And, of course, play will be delayed while the stretcher is on the ground, not just on the playing arena. Yeah, that's right. They can take him off straight across the boundary line if he is carted off on a stretcher, and he can come on later later on in the game, can come back onto the field. And St Kilda runner coming out. Interesting to see who takes McKenna's place. Oh, it's a tragedy. That uh, guy, McKenna, was best man on the ground, I'd say, up to that stage. By no a mile. Arguments. No By arguments. a mile. Yep. Now, Turley comes on. Yes, McKenna was giving them some run off the half-back line. And Tony Lockett has had his number taken by at least one umpire. 
I don't know what they're booing about lately. The half back and Miles takes the mark. Miles straight down the ground, long kick, looking for distance. Or oh, Rice on his own should have taken it. Lockyer gives it actually to, an to a teammate on the end of a hand pass as Waterman. The Eagles should go, and Waterman puts it through. His second. Leading by 11 points over St Kilda, 1 3 9. We now go to the second quarter, some 22 minutes remaining. And at this stage, the Eagles' lead has been cut to five points. Five points the difference. The Saints coming back. It's uh, Harding in after it. O'Connell, a long hand pass. Turn up. The Eagles went in hard. Good play by Peter Russo. Typical Hawthorne style play, that one. Of course, he played nearly all his football at Hawthorne. A great play for the Hawks. He was too. The ball's at half forward. Four St Kilda and the bounce will take place. Under 22 minutes left in the second quarter. Just off the edge of the centre square, too. And the now manicured Moorabbin Oval, which last year was a mud heap. Dwyer. Is that a marked year? Barely travelled the required distance. St Kilda. Playing with a lot of desperation. That's a good mark for Lockett. Similar distance out, but on the other side of the ground. He's coming into his own now, Tony Lockett. Moving well. Fourth mark. Leads and beautifully, Bernie, doesn't it? That's right. He doesn't have to have the uh, passes perfect because he just uh, jumps so well and times the uh, the leap so well. He's kicked two for number three. Looks pretty good off the boot, and that's the way it goes. Three goals for Tony Lockett, and the Saints hit back at Moravin. And Tony Lockett, the man, the danger man in this Kilda side. Mick Dwyer, who's had a great season in the centre, passing the ball to him. And there's that uh, little mark there to Dwyer. Wasn't... Uh, must have been just over the required distance, but Dwyer just perfect weight on that kick, and Lockett timing the lead perfectly, taking the strong mark and kicking the goal from about 40 metres out. So the game changes around quickly when Tony Lockett starts to hit his stride. St Kilda in front now at Moorabbin. Tony Lockett has kicked their total of goals, three, and the Saints lead by one point. Well, that's uh, pretty normal. Here comes Dwyer again. Lockett will be on the lead. Yes, there he is at the back. Oh, couldn't quite hold the mark. This is Bowie in after it. Forward pocket. Oh, he actually ran out of bounds. He down here for a mile behind. Brings it back in front of goal. And a strong mark taken by Lowe. And the two players, I said, were very quiet in that first quarter. Lockett and Lowe have both come into the play at the start of this second quarter. A good kick there by Bowie. Screwing it across in front of the goals. And low with those big hands taking the strong mark. And now only having a shot from about 15 metres out. Yes, coming right into the game, uh, Stuart Lowe from directly in front. Shouldn't miss from there, and he doesn't. So Lowe kicks his first goal. Started off in the ruck, but now has been moved to centre half forward. And the two key St Kilda forwards, Lockett and Lowe, playing very well at the start of this second quarter as is Mick Dwyer, who's been winning the ball out of the centre. So St Kilda looking a lot better when these players start to hit their straps because they're such great marks. And, uh, well, Lowe's not such a great kick, but on that occasion made no mistake. 28 plays, 21, seven points of difference. And I think uh, Brennan's far too small for Stuart Lowe. They'll have to make a move there shortly. Three goals kicked by St Kilda so far in this term. And they've blitzed the Eagles. Mind you, they had just as many possessions in the first quarter. But they couldn't capitalise on them. Another Eagle goes down. That's uh, Pike or Bremen, is it? We'll get back to that in just a moment as uh, Russo goes for the hand pass. Warsfold. Long hand pass. Fode might get there first in front of Turner. He does. Out to Rice. Lamb. Turner. The Eagles need a quick reply here. Lockyer at the back. Oh, Frawley. Great mark in front. Short pass by the St Kilda skipper, by Robert Elphinston. Certainly one of the veterans in the St Kilda side. And even decides to go for a run, testing the hamstrings out. Rinmar made for him, couldn't grab it. Korkamirvis, Dwyer, close to the boundary. Beautiful ball to get around Mainwaring. Runs his full distance, short pass up to the 50-metre line. Laidley chips in. Eagles really tested now. 
as the Saints apply the pressure. Pike. On it goes to Miles, well up the ground. Daniels giving chase. Up to half forward or Lewis missed one. He certainly should have taken. Grant, uh, well tackled by Waterman. Back it goes to Rice. Bad hand pass again. Lamb. Loose at the back. Can't complete the mark. Frawley will look for a teammate. He finds one in uh, low, it is. Up to half forward. Picked up by O'Connell. Tries to find Brennan. Couldn't do so. Down goes Owen. Ingleton. Main weary. Picks it up well. Well tackled by Rod Owen. He's got strength. Laidley. Short kick. A misdirected one, certainly. And St Kilda's ball through Russo. And the mark taken for the Saints out there by Bowie. Bowie on right centre wing. Owen gets into space. Bowie running past him. He's ignored that. Decides to go long. Winmar. Perhaps should have taken that one. The Eagles defending desperately. In goes Worsfold. Winmar tries to get it into the open spaces for Lockett. Lockett's hand passes Errant. Good tackle, Dwyer. Picked up by Brennan. Yes, good play, Michael Brennan, to bring it towards half forward. But once they get anywhere near the forward line, they struggle. And the West Coast Eagles. This is David Grant to Rod Owen. Oh, he's dropped the sitter. He's lost it to Mainwaring. Chris Mainwaring towards half forward. Cunningham disciplined. But this is Lewis. Now's their chance. Lockyer up in front. Oh, brilliantly done by Frawley, but Johnny and has got it. 40 metres out, an open goal. He chips it in, and it's a goal. Early in the second quarter down at Moorabbin between the Saints and the West Coast Eagles, we'll go back to the game now, back to the second quarter, a little over 11 minutes remaining, and the Eagles still hold a slender four-point lead. And uh, West Coast lead Saints by four points. The two umpires, Mike Sneddon and Dennis Rich, I agree with Peter Landy. Good to see the tackle being rewarded. Here's a chance for Lowe on the left foot. Now it's Corkamelis. Spiro Corkamelis, a quick kick. In. He's put it through. Right goal. And it's great desperation by the St Gilda forwards. Stuart Lowe fighting hard. And Spiro Corkamelis kicking the goal, but uh, they haven't had much success. They started off well at the start of the second quarter, but they've taken their time. West Coast Eagles have fought hard. It's been a very evenly contested match. There it is spilling out to Corkamelis. And an excellent goal. We didn't have much time to steady. But good goal sense there from Corkamelis. Nine possessions to Spiro Corkamelis. That was his first goal. It regained the lead for St Kilda. At Moravan, it's the Saints by two points. On paper, it appeared these sides were evenly matched, and it certainly turned out that way. Harding taps it down. Lewis fumbles. Winmar the chance. Makes the most of the second opportunity, but a bad hand pass to Russo under pressure. Russo is good enough to make amends. Left foot it to half forward. At the back, low, a juggle. Couldn't complete it. Ingleton. Winmar can kick it if he steadies. Which he wasn't able to do. It's out of bounds on the full. Free kick to the Eagles. It'll be taken by Miles. Lockett was 30 metres clear then too, Pete. Still kicked three goals, Tony Lockett. Harding in front, Jackson, Harding asking the question, was it a push, didn't appear so from here. That could have almost been construed as the same, but the umpire says no. Play on. Ball booted up towards half forward, and the mark is taken by Owen. Be an interesting contest, an arm wrestle between him and uh, Tony Lockett. I don't know who I'd back. <laughs> I'd rather an arm wrestle than a, a boxing match, Pete. <laughs> Good mark. Rod Owen today playing his 50th VFL game. Winmar watches. He's 45 metres out. The crowd doesn't seem to like it too much, and the goal umpire doesn't either. It's one behind. Increasing the Saints' lead by that margin. 5-6 to 5-3 at Moravan. Crackerjack game of football. Miles this time to the member stand side. It's going to beat Worsfold over the boundary line, isn't it? He beats the ball over the line, actually. And it will be thrown in right next to the interchange area. Three points the difference. Some killed out just in front. And uh, the Eagles just not capitalising enough once they get on that forward line. There's Main Wearing losing it to his teammate in Jackson. 
Hutton, the short one, is meant for worst foul. Over to Anir. Cleverly done, John Anir, to punch it away. And then was grabbed after he disposed of the ball. It's experience for you. Anir towards half forward. Turley, a good song mark. Great play by Turley. Now, no one there to kick it to. Uh, well, I won't say it again, but Dean Rice just did that too easily out of defence. Over to Nathan Burke. Very poor forward play that was by the Eagles to let them get away too easily. Over the back of Stuart Lowe. Lowe marks the 50 metre mark. Now, Lockett ducks back against Miles. Lockett too big, too strong, too good. 12 metres out, directly in front, and I think this will be his fourth goal. Yes, it's just about a gimme this one for Tony Lowe, but just too strong. Stuart Lowe taking a very good strong mark at centre half forward and then immediately looking for Tony Lockett. But Bernie, it started down the other end of the ground where it was shocking forward play by the Eagles to let St Kilda get it out of defence to Dean Rice too easily. And uh, here he is, the champ, going for goal number four. And it's through. So Tony Lockett's kicked three in this second quarter. And you've never this man beaten, there's no doubt about that. And Stuart Lowe also has lifted his game at 10 half forward. There's a marking of Stuart Lowe. He's a fantastic high mark. And quickly moving the ball on. Tony Lockett leading the other way, that, but then he had a double back and using his great body strength, put Miles out of the contest and took a very strong chest mark. It's an archetypal mark to Lockett. He brushes the opponents aside with one arm and gathers the ball with the other. He's so strong. He's kicked 4-3 this quarter. Main wearing out to runs the ball, gets another opportunity. He's well shepherded. Some pretty heavy traffic out there. Pike, ultimately to a near. Now it's on to Turley, who replaced McKenna when he was stretched off. Frawley went for the knock away. Rice goes down, picked up by Fode. Daniels, valiant effort to mark. Out to a near, but he might get a push in the back. I guess you couldn't really argue with that. He had the front position. Kick dropped short. I don't think it was intended to be such. Cunningham. Put under plenty of pressure out there, right on the boundary line. But if there's a stalemate, it'll be a bounce on centre wing. He, he would be one of the worst kicks in league football, Jason Daniels. He really has to work at his kicking in the next uh, 12 months or so. Yes, he does, Peter. He lets himself down because he can get the ball and he gets it on plenty of occasions. But his kicking is very poor. Lamb, after knocked down by Harding, but it's out of bounds again. So the Saints making a few metres out there on the outer side. Just over six minutes remaining in the second quarter. It's been a good one for St Kilda after they trailed by 11 points at the first change. Tony Lockett's kicked three goals in this quarter. Or oh, near should have taken that one. Dwyer shows him how it's done. Out to Harding. Elphinston, he should have taken that one as well, but he might get a second chance. Mainwaring showing him a clean pair of heels. Good tackle, Robert Elphinston. Excellent hand pass. Should have been better awarded. Laidley has got the ball, but it's not his free kick. It's going to Mainwaring. Chris Mainwaring. Ten possessions so far. This will be kick number eight. Plenty of distance with the kick as well. Jackson in front. Couldn't complete the mark. Russo on the bottom of the stack up. It comes out to Warsfold. Daniels is there again. Burke. High ball up to the circle. Mark grabbed by Pike. Shovels it out quickly onto Turner. Oh, Frawley. Brilliant mark. Saints defence is rock like at the moment. And Danny Frawley really is playing an excellent game. Elphinston. Up towards centre wing. Mark is taken by Hutton. Clock ticking down. On a lead. With Sumich. Can't do much with it. Off the ground. It comes to Jackson. Jackson's gone short. They've got no idea up forward, the Eagles. And now they've got a chance through Dean Turner. Down to half forward, but again, St Kilda through Harding. Over it goes to Russo. Stuart Lowe. Oh, up go the big hands. Now this is danger. Lockett's one out. Lockett ducks back to the pocket. Over the big hands, couldn't quite hold the mark. Well done, Jeff Miles. In 
and Laidley is there to back up and bring it right out towards halfback where there's two on one and two always wins out. There's Daniels setting it up again this time for Bowie. He's got it, the little rover, too, as he tripped. The umpire thought so, and it's a free kick to Brett Bowie, about 30 metres out from goal, directly in front. Not a bad little player as we watch this in replay. Yes, we'll see the trip there, and the deliberate one at that. Brett Bowie, yet to score a goal. Lockett's kicked four, Lowe's kicked one, Cork Amelis has kicked one, and uh, Bowie from right in front puts it through. So, as you said, Bowie kicking his first. He's kicked one goal, one. And St Kilda this quarter have played good football. They have kicked four goals. And, uh, of course, Lockett played tremendous football there in that... Uh, no, they've kicked a lot more than four goals. Six, Bernie. They've kicked six goals. Don't shortchange them down here. No, they've been tremendous in this, uh, <laughs> this second quarter. <laughs> I'll be in the strife here. <laughs> so back into the centre, a good quarter by the Saints. And they now lead 48-33, to 33, a difference of 15 points after they trailed by 11. That's got to be a free kick. He's an impressive player, Rice, isn't he? Yep. He's been fantastic there in the back line for St Kilda. Very courageous. Out to half forward. Low again. I think if I remember, Peter, his kicking used to let him down. He yes. seems to have improved that. Never been a, a long kick, but he has improved his kicking. And, oh, huge mark. Five marks this quarter he's taken. Stuart Low. Lock it. Look at that for strength. They're just unmanned and undersized, Bernie. They are. They're too big. Low and Lockett. They're good, strong players. They both take strong marks. And they've been the difference between the two sides in this second quarter. There's a mark to Lockett. He just brushes those players aside. And I've Miles caught out of the contest. I'd like to back him for double figures, Bernie. Heading that way. Three this quarter for a total of four. There's another one. It's five. And it's not even half time. Well, we put him down for, uh, what do we put him down for, 10 before the game, Pete? I think we yeah. might have been shortchanging him there as well. 8-6 to 5-3, 54 to 33, so they've kicked now seven goals in this quarter. Look look a strong that. mark. Great play by Lockett, using the strength, getting his body in front. Eyes on the ball, and the West Coast Eagles players not worrying so much. Oh, there's a player down behind play, and it's on. Oh, now there's a couple being thrown. It's been pretty physical this match, actually. There's been a few incidents that could have... Ooh, uh, oh, in comes Cunningham. In comes Jackson. Just about everybody else on the ground. There's one bloke there. If I was in the middle of that pack, I wouldn't be tangling with Lockett. I'd go for one of the littler blokes, wouldn't you, Pete? I'd stay on the goal <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Just a lot of pushing and shoving now. Yeah, the uh, the worst of it's over. Be interesting viewing at the BFL Commission on Monday. Lockett again in the thick of things. Had his number taken in the first quarter for allegedly striking Guy McKenna. Oh, he's a huge man, that Lockett. Oh, isn't he? He's too big to tangle with. I don't know how you'd stop. <laughs> There's a low. Look at the size of him, too. And I'll tell you what, it's hard when you're giving away that much height and weight to two key forwards. In fact, they were held in the first quarter, both of them. Yes, and uh, they only kicked one goal in that first quarter, St Kilda. Lowe's taken six marks. He's had uh, seven kicks and two hand passes. Sumic now playing centre-half back. Well, they had to do something. And Brendan's been switched to centre-half forward on Jeff Cunningham. And I don't think Sumic is physically strong enough to beat Lowe either. He might try hard, but uh, no, you've got to be strong. 21 points the difference. It's a fiery game down here at Barab and Winmar. And the Saints slowly breaking the shackles. Bowie gets well tackled, but he gets the hand pass out. Lockett on the lead, takes it. Excellent pass from Rod Owen. He's kicked four goals this quarter, Tony Lockett. Yes, that was almost perfect play by St Kilda, winning the ball out of the centre. And then finishing up with Rod Owen, the quick hand pass by Bowie, and Lockett on the lead. Still two and a half minutes before half time, so plenty of time for Lockett to grab a couple more. That's another one. Oh, he's kicked five this quarter.
Yes, a tremendous quarter by St Kilda and a great quarter by Tony Lockett at a half time. Well, that was the winning quarter for the Saints. They booted eight goals, three. They led 9-6-60 to the West Coast Eagles, 5-3-33. Let's go back to Moraba now. We'll pick up some of the highlights of the second half. Terrific. Rice to half forward. Low. Onto the left. Where's Lockett? He's ducking back against Miles. The kick. Lockett off the ground. Did he get boot to it? The quick kick out of defence. Now a chance for Peter Russo at half forward. Russo, oh, clever play by Russo. Onto the left foot and he slams it through. Brem's now there and he's attempting to leave. He leads a little bit early. There's Lewis with the big fist. Here's a chance for a goal. David Hart into the open goal and pops one through for the Eagles. But the Eagles going at the ball with a lot more tenacity at the moment. Brennan gives it in turn to Hart. A long kick could almost be a score. Miles Shepherds, it's a goal, I think. Lockett's kick nine for the game. The lead is on. Oh, that is a magnificent pass. Beautifully timed leads from right in front. He lays back on this. It's a goal. Ten to Lockett. Winmar, brilliant skills. Over there to Dean Rice. Rice with an open goal. Shoots. And I think he's kept up a great game with the goal. There's some pretty happy fans down at Moorabbin. St Kilda running out victors. 18-10. 118. Defeating the West Coast Eagles. 12-11.